You know what it felt like? It felt like dad strength. You know, when you're a kid and you're wrestling with your dad and he's just taking the hits and toying with you, and then all of a sudden, boom, he takes you down. Jesus setting me straight that day. Felt a lot like that. Okay, I know, I know. Hindsight is 2020. But at that time, on that day, I just couldn't understand what he was talking about. Why would he have to suffer? Why would he have to die? No, no, no. Not on my watch. No, sir. It's like he wasn't thinking straight. I thought maybe he was dehydrated or hungry. Man never got enough to eat, if you ask me. So I take him aside and I start laying into him. But before I can get very far, he just looks me dead in the eyes. And you know, he's got those eyes. And you know what he says? Get behind me, Satan. Dad strength. Those words, those eyes, the moment floored me. He floored me. I mean, seriously, get behind me, Satan? I admit I've got some flaws. Okay, a lot of flaws. But Satan? That stung. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't get it. I didn't see the whole picture. And not the last time that would happen either, mind you. I wanted him to use that dad strength on the world. That was my plan, my desire. And your boy Peter's plans, they don't always work out so good, i.e. the ear slicing thing, etc. But he knew, he knew all along. He saw the big picture. He was good about letting us try to figure it out on our own, but he had that dad strength to pull us back in when we needed saving from ourselves. That was his plan all along. A plan that wouldn't spare him anything, but at the same time, spare us everything. Saving us from ourselves. saving me from myself.